Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a tutorial on this makeup look. So it's a gorgeous glittery halo eye and obviously a full face tutorial as well. So if you like the look of this makeup then please just keep watching and see how I face it. So I'm starting with brows so I'm just brushing through my brows with a spoolie. And I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape and this time I'm using the shade Light. And I'm just taking that on as a brow browline brush and just using that to outline my brows. So I start by drawing a line with the concealer all the way from the inner portion of my brows all the way to the tail and then I just drag that concealer down towards my eyelid. As always when I'm doing a glam look, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown and using that to fill in my brows. So I'm just starting in the middle of my brow and working all the way to the tail, just at the very base of the brow and then filling in on top. So I get my brows done in HD, so that means that I get them tinted, so I don't really feel, have to fill them in too much after I've got that done. And I've had that done recently, so they don't need too much filling in. So I'm just focusing on the outer edge, the very tail of my brow, since that's where my brow is the thinnest and needs the most filling in. Next I'm just taking some more of that Tarte Shape Tape to use as my eye primer so I'm applying some to my lid and I'm also taking some underneath my eye because I want to do my whole eye look including the lower lash line before I apply the rest of my face makeup. That is a technique that I've seen quite a lot in um, P. Louise's tutorials. She is a makeup artist with a salon based in Manchester. Um, so she has a video tutorials and she always does her eye look complete like that and before moving on to skin and it's something that I've been experimenting with lately. So I'm just blending that concealer underneath my eyes and all the way up to the brow bone just to make sure the whole thing is completely blended and then I'm setting that in place with the Vanilla Bean eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and just patting that all over the lid. I wanted to set the concealer underneath my eyes with something a little different than eyeshadow so I'm taking the Nude Magic Powder from L'Oreal and just setting that underneath the eyes. Next for the first transition shade I'm going to use is Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. So I'm just applying this in the crease, not really focusing on the outer corner since I want this to be a very rounded eye look. So I'm just making sure all the way from inner corner to outer corner is the same intensity and depth of colour. And I'm just blending that shade out with my clean Sigma E40. I love just using this brush as a blender to make sure all the shadow is completely blended into the crease. So I'm just wanting this to be very blown out and smoky but still blended and looking really clean at the same time. So next I'm going with Makeup Geek Early Bird Shadow and this is a very bright kind of yellowy orange shade and this is perfect for any warm look. So I'm taking that in a slightly smaller crease brush, I think this is the E35 from Sigma and I'm just buffing this into the crease again making sure the same intensity and depth of colour is all the way from the inner corner to outer corner. Since this is a halo eye I want it to be really rounded and not having any extra depth on the outer corner like I normally would. Again I'm taking that clean Sigma E40 just to blend that colour into the crease and also blend it into peach smoothie shades that I've applied before. So I'm taking a little bit more of that early bird shade and I'm really in trying to intensify that in the crease and make it as bright as possible because I think it will really stand out with the halo eye and I just love this shade. I think it's so flattering especially with a deeper skin tone because I've got fake tan on at the moment. So I think with this look this colour is just perfect. Next I'm taking Sidekick also from Makeup Geek and I'm taking that on a 
soft and fine art from Zoeva and really packing this into the um, lid so I'm taking it into the crease a little bit because of the shape of this brush it applies to the crease and the lid which is just perfect for this look so I'm taking it a bit lower down than where I applied um, early bird and I'm taking that brush that I applied early bird with just to make sure it's all blended because I want that obviously the early bird to still stand out in the look but obviously intensify it with Sidekick and I just love this colour, it's a perfect warm tone and a rust colour brown. I am so obsessed with it and I think it's great for this look. The main thing with this look is to make sure everything is completely blended as much as I possibly can. So you see me a lot going back in with previous brushes that I've used to apply like these colours before and also that Queen Sigma E40. Next I'm going in with Fudge from Anastasia at Beverly Hills um, and I'm taking that on a little tiny crease brush from Zoeva, I think it's the petite crease and I'm just packing this on the outer corner of the eye, taking it in at the crease a tiny little bit but this is the darker shade for the halo. So I'm just buffing this on the outer corner and then blending it in with the soft definer that I used to apply Sidekick and just obviously like packing that on a little bit at a time and making sure it's all completely blended. So I'm not taking it too far into the crease and not too high up since I want it to really be a defined halo. And I'm also taking that on a little smaller brush also from the Weaver. I think this is a smudger brush or something like that. I can't even remember the exact name. I'm just packing that on the inner corner and again blending it out with the soft definer. I'm just doing the exact same on the other eye, packing that on the outer corner and then packing it on the inner corner as well. And as I said, going back in with previous crease brushes just to make sure that's all completely blended. Next for the lid shade, I'm taking the Starry Eyed Shadow from Makeup Geeks. This is one of their foil shades. And I'm just using a shader brush to pack that on the little gap left in the middle for our halo. So this is the brighter shade that's going to attract all the attention. So I'm just packing that on the gap and then trying to make sure it's blended by taking the previous brush that I used to apply Fudge. So you'll see that in a second. And I'm just making sure that brush is um, really defining the crease because I don't want it to be glittery in the crease at all. So I'm just making sure that leaves a little bit of a line so you can definitely tell that it is a halo eye. Next I'm going to the shade Psychic again and I'm taking that on a smaller brush and I'm using that to define the lower lash line. This is a bit of a fluffier brush than I normally use for the lower lash line, but I wanted this look to be really blown out and smoky, so that's why I'm using a bigger brush. And I'm also taking a little bit of that fudge shade, just a pencil brush, and using that to further define the lower lash line. Next, I'm taking nylon from MAC just to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. I am so obsessed with this shade. Since I bought it, I haven't used anything else to highlight my inner corner. It's just the perfect shade. And I'm also taking that Sigma E40 just to make sure that brow bone highlight is blended with the other shades. Otherwise, it can sometimes look a bit too harsh. But on the inner corner, it is just the perfect shade. It makes your eyes really pop. I love it. Now for the fun part, I'm taking some Lit Cosmetics Clear Liquid Glitter Base and my Stila um, Liquid Glitter, so I think it's called Magnific Magnificent Metals and this is in shade Kitten Karma and I'm just applying this on top of the Starry Eyed Shadow from Makeup Geek just to really intensify the look, make it really bright and pop and just add a little bit of glitter because who doesn't love a bit of glitter? Um, so I'm just blending that together with some more fudge from Anastasia at Beverly Hills and that is the shadow complete. Now I'm adding a little bit of liquid liner just to make it easier when I apply lashes. Apply some mascara and then my lashes in um, see through from Velour. A little bit of waterproof mascara on the lower lash line just because I think it lasts longer. My eyes water a little bit so waterproof mascara on the lower lashes is just perfect for me. I'm tightlining with the Makeup Geek um, Eye Pencil in Obsidian and then filling in my waterline with the waterline, waterline pencil from Urban K in the shade Walk of Shame. Spritzing my face with some Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray and then some L'Oreal Facial Oil just to hydrate my skin before applying my base. The 
new obsession lately is to take some a cover effects custom enhancer drop in the shade rose gold and apply, apply that all over my skin before I apply my foundation. It really makes my whole skin glow. I love the effect it gives. Now I'm taking the Master Camo uh, palette from Maybelline and taking that green concealer shade and just covering any redness. I'm just round about my nose where I get loads of redness. Um, run about my mouth because I have some acne scarring there and then I also have a little blemish on my forehead that I want to cover up with some green concealer as well. For foundation I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in the shade YC25 and I'm just striping this off my face. This is my favourite foundation for glam looks. It's the one I choose to wear if I'm going out, if I need my makeup to last all night. This is the one I reach for. So I'm just blending that into the skin with my Beauty Blender. I feel as if with the oil on my skin it makes it blend in so much better. I just love this combination. Because I wanted to do a bit of full glam, so I'm signed to Cream Contour. I'm taking the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in the shade Fair. I'm taking the shade in that kit Fawn, I believe it's called, and just taking that on a little kind of fake artist brush. It's one of the dupes from Primark. And I'm just using that to cream contour, so I'm just applying that to my cheekbones and my forehead and just blend it out with my beauty blender. Now to add a bit of warmth to the skin, I'm taking my Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunkiss. So this is one of their bronzer shades and I'm applying that to my cheeks and my forehead. So I'm just dropping it on and then kind of blending it in with the Real Techniques um, Sculpting Brush I think it's called. This is my favourite brush, brush to apply this product. I have mentioned it in a couple of favourites videos. I love it. So I'm just kind of blending that into the skin, making sure to take it back into the hairline so that there's no kind of white patches and make sure everything is just seamless and blended. Now for concealer, I'm again taking that shot. Tarte Shape Tape, I cannot speak today, in the shade Light and I'm just applying this underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin and my cupid's bow and I'm also taking a little bit under where I applied that cream bronzer just to really intensify that and make me look a little bit more sculpted so I don't have to apply so much powder contour later. So I don't have to apply too much underneath the eyes since this concealer is so pigmented. I hardly applied any and it just spreads so far. I just love this concealer so so much. Um, and if you're in the UK you can purchase this on QVC. I'll try and find a link and link it down below for you guys. So because I did apply concealer underneath my eyes um, to like make sure that I could finish my eyes, um, like I mentioned earlier, I didn't have to take concealer so far up. It means that um, there was no, kind of, I didn't have to really bake too much underneath my eyes. I did still bake, but not for as long as I normally would if I was applying concealer right up underneath my eyes. So, talking about baking, I took a little bit of that RCMA No Colour Powder and just applied that where I applied the concealer underneath my eyes. But as I said, I'm not applying it for such a long time since I don't really need to worry too much about cheating. Well, that is baking. I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and just applying this all over my face just to make sure all the cream products that I've applied is completely set and that uh, my bronzer and blush and highlight and things like that will go on smoothly on top of a powdered skin. Then I'm just dusting off that fake. And then because I did bake a little bit closer to the eyes than I intended to, I'm taking a little bit more of that sidekick shade and just applying again a little bit underneath the lower lash line. For bronzer, I'm taking an old favourite. I'm taking Laguna from NARS. I haven't used this in such a long time, but I cannot believe that I haven't used it. And like, I can't believe I haven't used it that long because it is such an amazing bronzer and I forgot how much I loved it. So I'm applying it with the 
art powder brush a Gumbo Technique, which are my favourite bronzer brush. So I'm just applying this exactly where I applied the liquid bronzer before, just to really add to that bronze look. That is what I want to achieve today. Really bronze skin to match with the kind of bronze halo eye. Now I'm just taking a little bit of the Breakup Contour Powder from Makeup Geek on my Sigma F05 brush I think it's called. It's a small contour brush and um, I'm just using that to contour the cheeks and make me really chiselled. And I'm also taking a little bit on a Sigma E40 and just applying this to the nose just to really define that as well. Now I'm taking Deep Throat Blush from NARS and I'm taking that on a blush brush from New Techniques and just applying this to my cheeks and really adding a little blush to the skin. Now for highlight, my favourite part, I'm taking the Sundip Glow Kit from Anastasia, my very favourite glow kit, on a highlight brush from Anastasia as well. This is a new favourite, it featured in my US Beauty Haul, which I will link in the description box below for you guys. I am just applying this to the cheekbones, and I'm also going to apply it to my tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and then I've also decided to start trying to highlight a little bit more of my face, I really like the effect it gives. So I'm just applying a little bit of highlight to my chin and also a little bit above my brows on my forehead and it just gives a really overall glowy look and I love the effect that it gives. Now for lips, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick, I think it's called Artist Liquid Matte or something like that, um, in the shade 103. This is a gorgeous you know, pink tone nude, it's a little bit darker but with a tan it really looks perfect. I didn't want to go too nude, I wanted it to still be a pop of pink just to bounce off the whole look and not make it too like one dimensional, I wanted it to still be a little bit pinky of a lip. I love this liquid lipstick, it's such an amazing formula. To top that off, I'm taking the Disco Ball Lip Gloss from L'Oreal and just applying this over the top of that liquid lipstick once it's dry of course. Definitely make sure it's dry first before you apply any lip gloss, otherwise it will be a complete mess. But this just adds a really gorgeous golden sheen to the lips. And then finally, I'm just setting my whole face with the All Nighter Setting Spray and that is look complete. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below and do not forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!